Hey, what's going on, everyone? Vague here for Serpent X Tech, and on the continuation of testing and tuning the Ice River AL0, the Althium, Lithium Miner, whatever you want to call it, I wanted to showcase and tell you all about my experience and where am I seeing like some inconsistencies, maybe some diminishing returns, so on and so forth. So that's what this video is all about. Let's just get right into it and talk about what I'm seeing, where my clocks are, and some of the problems that I'm also seeing with this particular miner as we move forward. And after a couple days of testing, I've seemed to get close to almost breaking that 600 giga hash area. Not quite yet. Thermals are looking good. The hottest chip, or excuse me, the power stages are registering around 85 degrees Celsius. The hottest chip is 64 degrees. We're sitting around 843 on the clocks and about 382, 380 on the chip voltage you can see in the top right we're ranging anywhere between 395 on board uh one max but the average is 386 the min of 381 so somewhere in that 380 range uh and man we have been pushing this thing we have been pushing this thing the five minutes almost at 600 giga hash 30 minute 561 two hour 549 this is after overnight settling in and our clocks here are on the offset 220 on the voltage offset 55 and you can see my fans I, I want the small fans to aid in keeping this guy pretty cool because I do not want to uh well kill this device right you know thermals and voltage is what degrades performance on chips so right now I'm still monitoring it. And if we look at the power draw, which I'm gonna go ahead and pull up right now, we're sitting right at 180 watts right now. So to get 600 giga hash, I'm betting we're gonna be somewhere near almost 190, 192, 195 watts at the wall. So I'm gonna keep tweaking and tuning and let you know if we are able to break that 600 giga hash on this AL0. It appears we're hitting diminishing returns because it just doesn't want to go above a certain chip voltage. So like you can see here, we hit 407 max, average of 400, and then it just dropped back down below 400. So anything above 400, it's probably just going to declock itself or just go down from what we have it set at. Um, even if I push the voltage higher and another thing too is when we apply these voltage clocks the miner will reset right so I just went up from 250 on the clock offset to 260 leaving the voltage alone at 65 millivolts which is too high in my opinion but just trying to see if we are able to crest that 600 giga hash and you'll see that the miner just locks up after a while it will stay on that loading screen I would see at the the wall the multimeter that it drops down to 11 watts instead of the right now where we're at 195 193 watts um, and it just doesn't want to go above 400 millivolts uh, on here and the clocks are like 875 and i just pushed it up again so now we're at 881 just trying to see if we can crest over that 600 you can see it's kind of curling up right now but if I add voltage, you'll just see this thing over the voltage over here, the, the hash rate over here just drop like a rock. You can see over here on the board temperatures, it dropped like a rock. So whenever it does this huge drop, that usually means the miner is going to crash. I'm going to give it some time and stabilize. But after you set the clocks, when you're pushing above where we are right now, uh, previously, so 195 megahertz is what I would like. Uh, I'll tell you my exact settings that I personally like for my device and uh, in a minute, but anything above 200 megahertz core offset and voltage wise 40 millivolts uh, offset, it just seems to lock up. And so your best bet is to set it, give it a few minutes and then power reboot and then let it ramp back up to where you had it set at and see if it goes any higher. 86 C was the highest in the power stages temperature wise but yeah it seems we're hitting diminishing returns and obviously pushing this thing beyond its efficiency and even after some more hours of testing it definitely seems like we're just anything above you know the voltage of 400 or above the clocks of 800 it just diminishing returns we're not getting any better our hash rate has gotten further away from 600 giga hash 
than we were previously. So I'm probably going to step it down. But I did push it up even higher. The clock offset to 275. The voltage offset to 70. But we're really pushing this thing. And while I want to tr keep trying to figure out where that line is, I don't want to push it too hard to where my device just straight up dies. So weigh out in the comments uh, what are your preferred clocks with your AL0. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure there's going to be an AL0 Pro Ultra or something in the future where we're able to push these things even harder. 600 giga hash, 800 giga hash, 1 tera hash, whatever it might be. But right now with this AL0... And what I've showed you so far, we're just hitting diminishing returns and there's really no point. And by the way, we are hitting around 206 uh, watts at the wall measured with the current clocks or configuration of 275 offset on the clocks and 70 millivolts offset on the voltage. While we have the thermal headroom, like our hottest chip uh, is 69, or at least that's the hottest it hit, average is around 65, and our uh, power stages are hitting 93 and you know on like the caspa uh, eight, uh ultra like we can do 93 all day it's no problem but it just seems on the al0 not so much so i'm gonna leave it here you let me know what your thoughts are and do me a favor on the way out hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well check out some of the additional links in the description to help support the channel on what we do here and you just have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you in the next one